Hey everybody, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And tonight I'll be smoking the Oliva Siri V Milanio in Figurado. This is a 6.5 by 52 ring gauge box press Figurado. Beautiful cigar, pretty big cigar too. And as you can see, we have a third band on here. That is to signify that this is from the CRA sampler. A uh, CRA sampler from 2019. So this cigar right here has around three to four years of age on it. Other than that, <clears throat> beautiful wrapper here. Rich caramel in color. A little bit of reddish hues and marbling. There's the foot. I think we're focusing there. Might as well show you the bands again. There are the bands. I am very certain a lot of you have seen these bands before. Very popular cigar. Yeah, uh, this one has an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. That wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And as far as my previous experience with Oliva, not too shabby. The last one I smoked for review, that one was the Master Blends 3. Great smoke. I rated that one a memorable. Highly recommend you try that one. I doubt that you haven't tried it yet though. Yeah, very good cigar. And just my overall impression of Oliva is that they make solid to fantastic smokes and they're very widely available. So safe to say my previous experience with Oliva has been pretty darn good. And because of that, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Mmm. Yeah. A lot of caramel on the palate. Damn delicious. Caramel on the palate, lots of roasted coffee as well through the retro and on the palate. Uh, mesquite wood through the retro and palate as an undertone. Mmm. That's very good. I'm loving how much caramel I'm getting on the palate. Mixture between white pepper and red pepper spice through the retro hill. Not a lot, just enough to know that it's there. Mmm. Very good. Right now, I'll say medium plus body, already a long finish and almost a syrupy smoke texture. This is a damn fine start. So I'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the first third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the first third. Ashed it literally right before this take. Nice enough looking burn line. A lot of smoke. Yeah, uh, we are only at the end of the first third, but this cigar is hitting my palate so well right now. At this point, medium plus body, long finish, and a syrupy smoke texture. Right now, I'm getting a lot of roasted coffee, caramel, and also hazelnut. Equal amounts of each to the retro and palate. Such a delicious combination of flavors. Mm. The faintest amount of white red pepper spice combination to the retro hill, and just a little bit of oak, this rich oak to the retro and on the palate as an undertone. So yeah, so far, this is the best Oliva V Milanio I have ever had. I just hope it continues to go this way. We'll see what happens. So I'll continue to smoke this down through the end of the second, third, well into this Milanio band there. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the second, third. Beautiful burn line. Nice enough looking ash. Lots of smoke. Mmm. Yeah, 
Uh, at this point, medium plus body, long finish, and a sear beast smoke texture. So what's happening right now at the forefront, I'm getting the caramel sweetness along with this like Granny Smith apple sweetness. It's like a damn caramel apple. That's the main tone to the right tone palette. Delicious combo of flavors there. It has the caramel sweetness with like that bittersweet fruitiness from the Granny Smith apple. Delicious. Roasted coffee and also hazelnut to the Red Drone palette. A little bit of white red pepper spice combination to the Red Drone hill still and just a very faint hint of oak to the Red Drone animal palette. Yeah, uh, this cigar is even better than it was in the first third, and I am not complaining about that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down through the end of the final third, all the way down to the nub here. Now I'll get to the final verdict. Hey, we have come to the end of the final third. Nice looking burn line, ashed it just before this take, and still, lots of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium plus body, long finish, and a slightly CRP smoke texture. Unfortunately, we took a slight step back here in the final third. Roasted coffee and oak are the two main tones to the Red Drone palette, getting just a little bit of caramel sweetness to the Red Drone palette. No more hazelnut at this point, just a little bit of white red pepper spice to the Retro Hill. Really appreciate the pepper and spice not ramping up here in the final third. And that's about it as far as the flavors go. So yeah, overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a memorable. This cigar, in my opinion, was well on its way to being an unparalleled. We just took a slight step back here in the final third. Just such a delectable profile with the caramel and also the green apple at the forefront, especially in the second third. An immaculate cigar in the second third especially. So yeah, didn't end on a high note, but still a great cigar and a memorable score. And Milanios, they're very good to begin with. They're very good fresh, but put a couple years of age on them, they can get up to near unparalleled levels. Great cigar. And one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. If you've heard this before, feel free to click out of this video now. But do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey with the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately. It is paramount that you know I am on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey, just in case if YouTube pulls a plug on us here, if you watch this on YouTube. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the Oliva, Siri V, Milano, and Figurado. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you for the next review.